Hello guys, this is Jason here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a Minecraft banner. Now this banner are for, is for beginners, so these banners are easy, um, they are for beginners, um, that you guys, if, if you guys aren't good at Photoshop and stuff, it's a pretty simple banner, um, pretty simple, classic, um, beautiful, nice banner. Now, I prefer this banner if you're going to do Minecraft, because it is a Minecraft banner. But um, just just follow along the tutorial and uh, you'll get your perfect swaggy banner. Now I included a file for you guys to download. It's actually the template called Banner Pack. Now actually you guys can get this Banner Pack from the link in the description. It will be a website. Um, you just download the template from my website. Uh, once you unzip the file, it should be a zip file. You can unzip it. Um, with archive utility, uh, but if you're for Windows, if you're in Windows, you can unzip it with WinRAW or any zipping programs. Uh, so let's open up the file. Now you should get like a bunch of files in here. <laughs> it's not a lot. Um, you will be needing Photoshop. So the way I don't include this file, like how to get Photoshop for free, because mostly people have Photoshop. So if you're gonna create a banner, you will always need Photoshop Paint on it or any program. But today we're gonna be doing. Uh, Photoshop okay so you'll need cinema 4d um, it's pretty important that's the way on how you get it for free because you know okay so pretty cool here um so what you're gonna do is so I'll show you the final preview this is how it looks like pretty awesome right um yeah that's the cool banner guys um HD high quality banner um, so let's go ahead and double click on the banner template um, and it should open up with Photoshop here Oh, let me do this first. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, okay. So, the first thing I want you guys to see is if you guys don't see these guidelines right here, these blue guidelines, um, um, you want to do is you want to go down here to view, uh, show, and guides. Make sure you click guides so you can actually show the guides and you can follow along the tutorial. Now, let's zoom in to times um so i want all your content to be in this box right here now if you guys uh are putting your content out here it will actually look like it sucks just make sure you put your content in this box okay this box right here this box um so that's the important part where it actually shows everything if you're on a device computer desktop i don't care Okay, so now in the layers part here, you will see only the f this folder. So simple thing is just go ahead and create a new folder, and just call it uh, maybe text. Okay, and then you want to grab your horizontal um, horizontal type tool, and just simply type in your goddamn name. I don't know if I typed that correct. Okay, and then just bump the size up a bit um um i prefer making this big because i want because you, you want your letters to be big i'll shrink it down a bit um just remember you don't want to you just want only your content in this box okay that's why i told you guys to zoom in 102 times okay so let's let's just select a font here um okay I don't really know what font should I use. Should I use? Maybe this. Uh, no, I don't want that. I'll use American Purpose for this tutorial. Okay, so I'll leave the link in the description below where you can download fonts for free. Okay, so you want to position it. Um, just make sure it uh, is like about this much. You don't want it to be like this because you want to put your skin, your social networks and stuff, line and the subtext. So, yeah. So that's why I told you to do that. And let's grab your mouse tool and move, I mean center it. Um, let's put it around this part. Okay, so we're basically done with the text here. And what we're going to do is right click on your text, go to blending options. Now you should get this layer style box here. What you want to do is click on stroke. Where's stroke here? Click on it. Don't click on the box. Um, just click on stroke. Oh wait, before you do that, 
make sure your text color is white. Okay, so let's follow the tutorial. Blending options, stroke, make sure the size is 3. Go to gradient over it, overlay, click on the gradient box, bring these two colors to the middle. Okay, what? Okay, okay perfect. Hit OK. Now you should see black and white, which is completely weird. Uh, just bring that in opacity so we can actually see the um, shading. So get this nice, sh nice shading. Hit OK. Uh, and now we're done. So let's create a line. Um, as you guys can see, we have the line right here. So pretty awesome. Okay, so let's do that. Um, get, get the line tool and then just center it um so if it goes wobbly 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 just make sure you send it okay and just make sure the settings are the same as mine so the fill is this color or any color you like i prefer this color and a stroke no stroke um for the size is 10 and just make sure that that's the first one zero zero and the weight is five and then hold shift so it actually goes straight and then click and drag something like that great um, just move this low a bit and then call the shape line grab your text tool again write in your subtext like game uh, let's do minecraft um, I don't know what to do <laughs> and have fun y'all I'm gonna choose a font called cartoonist I'm gonna shrink down the size um, I don't know about this. Perfect, but I'm gonna shrink down again because it's too big. Um, great. Now, what you wanna do is okay. So, what you wanna do is go into your um text um the um your just type in your text whatever, and you wanna right click and you wanna copy the layer style like that and go to your subtext, right click on your subtext and paste. The layer stop okay so but the stroke is too you know too thick in my opinion so just double click on the FX and go to stroke and bring the percent down to 2 px so get this nice clear stroke okay guys so um next is create a new folder again call it social social net work and uh go down to the um these um rectangular tool it's rectangle to so tool sorry it's box here and then hit shift and draw a box some don't hit shift <laughs> just kidding somewhere around this not so sure yeah and then pick a color i don't know which color you like um <laughs> i don't know guys i don't know <laughs> mm, yeah, not that much and bring down the opacity a bit okay and then yeah okay perfect I'm just gonna bring it down okay and then just call it a uh, social box I don't really know oh, I can't freaking type at all box Okay, so after that, um, I included the icons in the social network icons. Um, you can find more like Instagram and stuff by searching it up. But these are the icons. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to import them to my Photoshop. So file, place, and place the uh, social network icons. So first off, we're going to paste the um, Facebook icon. And then I'm just going to zoom here. Oh. shrink down the Facebook icon that. so the way um, I put it somewhere right here and um, right here because I want this space to write in my name like follow and like maybe clash gamer here and this might be follow and like and stuff because I don't want it to be empty you know what I mean yeah okay and then just place the second file called uh, Google plus Twitter I don't know Shrink. Mm, 
like that. Perfect. File, place, Twitter, shrink. Uh, I don't know what's up. <laughs> okay, this will be great. And then let's, um, yeah, so and then let's create a new folder again, maybe called social network text. I like everything to be organized so I don't really get confused or messed up. Um, so that, grab your text tool and maybe write in like follow. Uh, I don't know, but I put right here clash at clash. Grab another text. I don't know. Let's do American stripe. Shrink down the size. Um, I don't know what size you guys want. Great. Okay, so select any color you like. I'm gonna be perm. I don't know. Mm, I'm just gonna do this instead. Okay, then just go down here to blending options. Stroke. Uh, three, maybe two. Contour. Is it? No. It's contour. Uh, texture. You can add some effects. Uh, so this is whatever you will like. Um, so if you notice, I did a 3D effect for this part. Okay. And then I'm going to write follow. And let's do this. And lock. Perfect. <laughs> and then let's copy the layer style. Where is it? Copy, copy. And then you paste uh layer style voila and you are not done yet so actually we are left with putting our skin right here okay guys so what we're gonna do is open up cinema 4d i will also leave the um steve rig for you guys to download in the description below um and also the lightning kit pro um no 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 not lightning kit pro the grayscale Lightning Kit Pro for free in the description also. So let's go here to Window, Content Manager. And, um, yeah, um, you should get the Minecraft Steve rig by Weed Lion, Weed Lion, and the Grayscale Gorilla. Um, so you need that because I told you, because, yeah, it's hard to explain. So load up the overhead, softbox, Steve rig, and just load up the first Steve rig. Okay perfect looks good okay and let's go ahead and zoom in so i have a tutorial on how to create a minecraft skin render tutorial uh for my channel go check it out the link is in the description below so i'm gonna go ahead and speed up the video and um see you guys maybe when it's done so i'm gonna mute my mic and meet ya okay guys so i'm actually done with messing with um the stuff right here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to my renderer settings and just create the uh, size um i recommend watching the tutorial link in the description um png okay um let's move this out a bit here uh, okay a little bit okay shift r and this should render out Oh, so I'm gonna speed up the video and I'll come right back. Okay guys, now I'm back. I'm gonna go to file, save as, um, uh, uh, render skin. Okay, I'm gonna save on my desktop. I'm done, so. So here you go, here's the skin. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna so if you guys see um there's a background. I forgot to check on the alpha channel. So uh most people got that wrong. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down here, tools. Um where is that? I don't know where is it? Is it this box? Oh this this bo this box, sorry. And grab that. Um oh, it doesn't really work well. Let's just drag it in Photoshop. Okay, and then use the magic wand tool, um, then delete the white, oh shoot, holy crrr, how are we gonna do this? I'll come right back, you guys.
Okay, guys, now I'm back. I finished the render. I have to do it all over, but that's okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the file. So uh, I highly recommend you place your file somewhere around here. Um, so that will be the main, main thing for the banner. So let's find it here. And then let's go ahead and shrink it down. Um, that's actually why I want you guys to do that. So... Um, it's pretty cool. Um, you can actually move all the parts. Move it a bit here. And the rendered skin. Yeah, so it looks pretty good right now. Pretty swaggy. Um, but I recommend you move, make, um, something. Just make it a bit bigger. Um. Uh, like this extended um, so if if you're wondering how I did everything like like ex extended so I don't like extended together like all the this stuff um all I did is select each folder by hitting shift and then you just hit control T and then it will allow you to select thing which is so awesome now if you notice it renders pretty high quality pretty sharp um so that's pretty awesome so now you guys are actually done so all you can do is go to file save as and call it whatever make sure the format is png and hope you enjoy the swaggy banner and i'll see you guys next time please leave a like um i'll show you the example um yeah so i'll see you guys next time guys hope you enjoy and peace